Hello, my name is Walter Coppage, and I am, let me start by saying I'm very sorry that I cannot be with you this evening for this most important event. I really wanted to be there. Um, I have been asked to speak to you this evening because I am a Kansas City actor, but also I have recently been named the NNPN Ambassador for the Unicorn, that is the National New Play Network, which is a not-for-profit organization uh, encompassing 26 theaters around the country, including the Interact in Philadelphia, the Woolly Mammoth in D.C., and Victory Gardens in Chicago. This organization champions uh, young writers, or new writers, uh, in creating new works, producing these new works for American theater. Cynthia Levin and the Unicorn are founding members for this organization, and I am uh, most thrilled to have this honor bestowed on me by Cynthia, and I am excited to be the representative and hope to do my best to represent the Unicorn and Kansas City. Cynthia and I were counting the other day, and I have been in 14 productions at the Unicorn Theater since 1994. Now, I don't know if that's a record, but I think that's pretty damn good. Um, this is where I have worked the most. This is my home base. I am very much in tune with what this place is about, uh, which I believe is insightful, thought-provoking stories that reflect the complete American history. I should trademark that. I, I, I might do that. Uh, these are stories that are about the human condition, the soul, the psyche, the hopes, the dreams. Um, I count myself very, very lucky to have worked here that often. And uh, to have been in 14 shows doesn't just show my commitment to the Unicorn Theater. Actually, what it shows is Cynthia's commitment to me and, uh, uh, and to all Kansas City actors that are fortunate enough to work on this stage. Several years ago, I did a show over at the Coterie with Cynthia Levin directing uh, a production of Frankenstein. And it was one of the last shows that my mother got an opportunity to see me in. On opening night, there was a little tap at the dressing room door, and Cynthia and I were standing back there talking. And I went to the door, and there was my mother with a dozen roses. Thinking she was presenting it to me, she said, oh, no, 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 this, this is not for you. It's for her. So I bring Cynthia over. They have a little conversation. She hands Cynthia the flowers. Cynthia says something to me and steps out the door. My mother then reaches up and grabs me by the collar and pulls me down and says, listen, she's good. You stick with her. And who am I to go against my mother's advice? Really, I'm just another example of the compact that the Unicorn has made to local artists in the Kansas City area. The cast, the crews, the designers of any show at the Unicorn are all your neighbors. That's why you see me at the grocery store and the post office and the DMV. The Unicorn is a, a major lifeline for the theater community here in Kansas City. We could not do without it. It provides employment for so many of us uh, that have decided to plant roots in the city and to call this city uh, our home. And one way we can do that is because the unicorn has committed to us. I may work elsewhere around the country, but Kansas City is always home. And um, whenever I come here to work at the Unicorn Theater, it's like coming home. Statistically speaking, I was thinking about this the other day. Statistically speaking, I really shouldn't be working as a, an African-American actor, you know, if you'd have told me 20 years ago that I would be making my living here in Kansas City, I would have told you you were crazy. But one of the reasons that I am able to earn a living here in Kansas City is because of places like the Unicorn Theater. You know, I talk to my friends around the country, Chicago, New York, L.A., wherever, and most of those guys, whatever their color, are struggling to work. And they're amazed at how often I do work here in Kansas City and the caliber of work that I do do. Um, the opportunities that Cynthia has given me are, are, are I've come to find are really rare. Uh, people in Chicago have been looking at my resume and saying things like, you were in Quills, really? Huh, you were Uncle Peck and How I Learned to Drive, really? Which says a couple things to me. One, that they would have never cast me that way and that um, I'm very fortunate to have someone like Cynthia who uh, will put me into these roles and give me that opportunity, non-traditionally and colorblind, and cast me that way, uh, and take a shot on me, uh, give me a shot. She sees me for much more than my skin color. She sees me for my skill and my talent. And I think whenever she casts, she tries to put the best actor into the role. And I don't believe everybody necessarily does that. The Unicorn is one of, and especially Cynthia, are one of uh, several people in town that have made this kind of a commitment to the Kansas City actor. And it's, the way for us to be able to remain in Kansas City and to continue this work. So we need you to step up and do something too. 
Um, I thank you very much for this opportunity to talk to you, and please, please, please support the unicorn.